over the last couple of years, I feel like I've kind of just slowly but surely been letting my fitness just sort of like slip away. Now, it's weird kind of making a video like this because one, I'm a fat loss coach and I feel like I have a decent amount of fat to lose. So I kind of feel like a, almost like a hypocrite in that sense. But two, on the other end of the spectrum, I'm not insanely overweight. I'm not, I don't have like 50 pounds to lose. You know, I could probably, we'll get into my goals here in a little bit, but I just feel like I've sort of just been like, like I said, letting my fitness and my leanness kind of slip away. And if I'm being really honest, I've been telling myself that I wanna do something about it, that I wanna get leaner, lose some fat for probably like realistically 12 to 18 months and haven't done anything about it. And I want to just blame my girlfriend <laughs> uh, because I just love her so much and she loves me so much. And you know, so I'm just, for lack of a better word, just like comfortable in that arena, you know what I mean? But over those 12 to 18 months, I've just, like I said, been letting myself sort of slip and telling myself that I wanted to make these changes without making these changes, I've like lost trust with myself. And with that, I've lost like just the confidence with that, you know? And so it is Monday, April 1st. On Thursday, me and my girlfriend were going to Maui for two weeks and I've been thinking about just like going to the beach, taking my shirt off and like how it's gonna make me feel. And I don't love that, those feelings. But that's okay, you know? Um, so the whole point of this is that like, you know, I am, I, I wanna make a change. Like I'm at this stage in life where I've been saying for <laughs> too long that I'm gonna do something about it without doing something about it and it's time. So that's what this series video is about. Now, probably not, you know, kind of where this all came about, you know, the other day, Ashley and I were on a walk and she's like, we should start doing like quarterly goals or something. And I kind of really liked that idea, you know, New Year's rolls around and everyone has these new New Year's resolutions and everything, but those rarely work. And I think having a smaller chunk like this and also just where I'm at and everything I just explained, like this sounded like something that I really wanted to do. And so that was like my, my number one goal. Right now I'm about 220, 222, uh, that's how much I weigh. And I would love to get down to below 210. Now I'm not like dead set on the number, but I just like, from where I've been in the past, um, I've, I think I'd feel a hell of a lot more comfortable at that body weight. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to be just making videos on this type of stuff. So I wanna get down to like 210 and I wanna lose inches off my waist. I haven't measured my waist yet, um, but I, you know, when we were coming up with these goals and stuff, I said like three inches. Again, I don't know where I'm at or like how much I'd be, but three inches. And again, these goals are all for the next quarter. So till July 1st or so. Um, so that's about at least 12-ish at least pounds of fat to lose and about three inches of fat loss. So that is like my big, my main first goal. The other goal that I set for myself for this quarter uh, and this time period is to get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Right now I'm a little over 500 and yeah, that's just a goal that I wanna set for myself. I've been making YouTube videos sporadically since about the end of 2021. And it's taken me that long to get to 520 subscribers, but uh, I love YouTube. I love watching it. I love making videos for it. I think it's so cool. Um, you know, I always wanted to be like a actor growing up and stuff. And I think this is like the next closest thing to that. So, um, yeah, if you want to stick around for that journey, you came to the right place. And, uh, yeah, so we're leaving for Hawaii on Thursday and probably not ideal, you know, to start goals like this right before two weeks on vacation, but we're going to bring you along for the ride and make it happen. Okay, so we made it to Maui. Hopefully you can hear me. It is super fucking windy. 
I'm pissed because I literally brought fucking everything with me. I brought everything I could possibly need for this trip, photo, video, camera wise. But I wanted, I'm, you know, it's five o'clock right now. Walking out of the beach, was hoping to go take some pictures. And I wanted to bring the Sigma 30 millimeter with the mist filter, Zip and Black Pro Mist one quarter. And I, uh, everything with the very like smallest of a ring that I needed for the 30 millimeter. So I'm going to Amazon Prime set up ring. So I can use, I can't use any, I can't use my mist filter with, uh, without that. I can't use my energy filter with that. So 30 millimeter is basically useless. So I don't know. I'm only like 15 bucks. I want that stuff of ring anyways. Instead of having like a full set, like each individual one that goes up to the top, I would just have like one. So, fucking annoyed, but I'm gonna go take some pictures. So, let's see what we can get. Yeah, made it to Hawaii. Ooh. That's pretty. So I'm gonna go back and chill. But first, take a look at that rainbow. I mean, look at that. You simply just can't make this stuff up. So yeah, let's uh let's get better tomorrow. I mean just look at this. Just people playing golf, vibing. Beach is right, just just over there. I'm staying right over there. Yeah, let's uh, let's try and take. Whoa, wrong way. Let's try and take some better pictures starting tomorrow. You don't know the island boys? No. Really? Mm -hmm. That's embarrassing. What is it? Oh. They were like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
you just get like 10 more of these and meal prep for the week will be done? Yeah. That's a big bite. second workout on vacation. First workout was kind of like a full body workout. And today's Monday, we leave not this Thursday, but the following Thursday. So I think I'm gonna actually try to do like a little bit of a, follow some sort of a little bit of a split. So doing a little bit of push, pull legs kind of vibes. And today doing some push. And we came over here to the gym and like we were following a lady who's carrying like water bottle and like some workout gloves. So it was like, damn, like she's probably going to the gym. And I was just feeling weird about filming. And so we literally got to the door of the gym, saw there was like a couple people in this gym, which isn't that big, but uh, saw that there were people in here. So I literally turned around and took the camera back. So, but then we, like, I did like a set and I was like, I'm being a little bitch, you know? And like, I want to make more videos like this. I want to do YouTube and like, I'm not going to do that by leaving my camera. So went and grabbed it, came back, filmed a set, and then everybody left. And so I got to post myself anyway. So. Did the damn thing, and I'm glad I did. Started off with some incline barbell bench press, which felt really good. I don't typically do that. I typically do dumbbell bench press, if anything, but the dumbbells only go up to 50 here. So, uh, tried out the barbell, and I just never do it, and this is like a, a dope little setup that they have here. Uh, the barbell we have at home, it's a women's bar, so it's like super thin, which isn't a bad thing. I just don't use it at home. But it was nice to kind of switch things up, and then, after the barbell, incline barbell bench press, did some chest flies, which felt good. Man, I just working out at the garage gym, only having dumbbells and barbell, you know, pull-ups, push-ups, that type of stuff. Um, it was really good to use some cables. So I'm kind of using that for the majority of this workout. Did some chest flies. Now currently doing the uh, some dumbbell lateral raises, or not dumbbell lateral raises, doing cable lateral raises and then gonna finish with some cross cable tricep extensions, which are my ultimate favorite uh, tricep movement. So it's gonna be it, keeping it super chill. Gonna go back and maybe get something to eat and uh, do a couple things on the computer and then do a little bit of snorkeling. So Ashley's got some work to do today, so she's kinda tied to the computer for a couple calls, but uh, I got a couple things I need to do too. Got to script some videos, so I'm gonna do that. But yeah, bring you guys along for the ride. Man, this lens, 16 millimeter. Sigma 16 millimeter, absolute fire. Okay, so for the final set here of the cable lateral raises, I'm gonna do like two drop sets. So, gonna go for like the heaviest weight here. 
get as many reps as I can, and then drop it down just one notch on the, the cables, get as many reps as I can, and then go as, we're just gonna do as many drops as we can so my shoulders fall off. Twenty-fives down to twenties. Get as many reps as I can. I don't think it's gonna be many. Six. Going to Twenties down to fifteen. Alright, set here. I don't even know. What this weight is, this is the lowest the hole I can put in. Put the thing in. All right, last exercise of the day. Doing some cross cable tricep extensions. These, I've never felt a better tricep pump than with this exercise. So let's fucking do it. So, oh, so here's the rig and all. It's gonna be the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, just a little, a little more of this than I need to feel comfortable with. This too. That is just the bane of my existence, but got a pretty good. Chesty workout. Uh, I don't know if it's just these mirrors or what, but the arms are looking pretty massive. So, yeah, that's what we're working with. Hi, kitty. Okay. Jumped the gun a little bit on sunset here. Sunset starts now. I mean, doesn't really like begin. Well, it begins now. The peak of the peak of it, the actual sunset, is in uh, about 30 minutes. First couple days here in Hawaii have been just fantastic. Just really fun. Um, and like I kind of started this video out, you know, uh, the goals that I set for myself. I want to lose fat. You know, I just want to feel more comfortable in my body. Um, so that's you know, dropping some pounds on the scale. Losing some inches on my waist and, you know, again, the timing, you know, with uh, heading out for this trip right now probably wasn't the best, but it is what it is. And honestly, I mean, we've been so active this trip. Like I'm looking at my watch right now and I'm at 17,347 steps. Now, a lot of those steps are from swimming, but still, I'm going to count it. Um, you know, we've been, it's been like that every single day, you know, lots of walking, we went on a hike yesterday, lots of swimming. Um, and also is something that, uh, you know, has been going on this trip and even beforehand has uh, just been, you know, not really drinking. Um, and it's just funny because last time, about a year ago, Ashley and I were here for, uh, you know, here in Hawaii, we were having a, a good time drinking a shitload and so it's just been a little bit different like neither of us are drinking right now and um it's been an interesting journey hate that word for that scenario but i guess that's the the best way to put it it's been an interesting journey um you know i feel like definitely when we got here definitely had that urge to just like crack a beer, suck down a Mai Tai, all of the above. But, uh, you know, I, I just, I, it just doesn't feel, not that there's, that it, there's anything necessarily wrong with it. It's just, it, drinking right now doesn't feel in a line with who I want to be and what I want to do and what I'm trying to accomplish, you know, not just the fitness stuff, but again, you know, the other goal I talked about is, you know, getting a thousand subscribers and that's just like the very first stepping stone, you know, from there, I want to grow this a whole lot. And it's not that you can't drink and do these types of things, but just with where I'm at right now and kind of like how things have been going, like it's just not 
helping me or benefit me, benefiting me in any way right now. So, um, yeah, it's been fun just being active as shit, playing football and gravity disc with Ash on the beach and going for walks and getting up early, seeing the sunrise, watching the sunset, even though I'm a little bit early. Yeah, just kind of thinking on the book I've been reading, you know, uh, Mark Manson's uh, Everything is Fucked book. And he's talking about the thinking brain and the feeling brain and how, you know, we got to get those two in a line. And it's not just about, you know, doing more or being more disciplined or just adding more to your to-do list, you know, that thinking brain side of things. It's it's the emotional things. Like we're all emotional beings. We do things for a feeling and we're ran by emotions. And so instead of trying to just like shut the emotions off and shut them down, we need to like self-accept. And I think for me, that's something that's been really hard. Um, I, I, I'm very hard on myself in like, not necessarily in like a, oh, I'm pushing myself super hard and like, yeah, go get him, Tiger. But like, I'm not very nice to myself, you know? And I think that's kind of why I've been struggling, you know? That's why I, I have this extra weight that I want to lose. And, you know, my success is or isn't where it is right now. And so, uh, yeah. I think I just, you know, like he talks about in the book, it's about self-acceptance and it's not necessarily appeasing your emotions or everything, but it's just, you know, being like self-acceptant. I've taken so many pictures of this boat already and I'll probably take a bunch more. I wonder if anyone's like actually out there right now or like staying there. Wow, I am really close to the edge here. Um, but uh, but yeah, self-acceptance, man. Something I have struggled with and uh, something I wanna get better at. And I'm not exactly sure how to do that. Maybe I should finish that book and get back to you guys on that. But um, yeah, you know, if you're out there and you're hard on yourself, kind of like I am, maybe maybe try try not doing that give yourself some credit you know for how far you've come and the things you've done instead of just trying to think of like all the things you haven't done anyways to wrap this video up um it is monday and uh we are here in hawaii till not this thursday but the next thursday so i'm gonna see more more workouts um more stuff we're doing and just how i'm trying to you know navigate this this crazy thing called life but uh anyways i'm just rambling at this point so yeah let's go ahead and cap that shit here before i fall off the fucking edge of the ocean oh that's kind of scary this is fucking dope oh boat coming around the corner we gotta catch it